G'day guys, how you doing? Well, winter has definitely set in in South Australia. Um, if it is not raining, it is very, very cloudy and overcast. So what perfect time to uh, get some new goodies and add-ons for the twins for that moment when uh, we can image again. Who knows when that is right now. Anyway, as you can see here, I got a, uh, a delivery. Pretty excited to show you guys what it is. I did uh, put it up in my uh, community section on my YouTube uh, uh, page and a few of these answered and uh, and you all thought it was a ZWO uh, mount the uh, the AM AM5 I think it was it's not in fact it's not even ZWO <laughs> it's I find it quite funny that uh, um, Testar shipped me uh, this <laughs> these items in a ZWO box. I don't know if they're pulling the uh, the wool over my eyes or uh, or what it is. And uh, and just so you guys know, I do buy all my products. Uh, everything I use, I uh, I buy. All right. So uh, yeah, nothing uh, nothing here has been sent out to me uh, for free. It's uh, it's all my hard earned um, money. And as we know, Astro, um, it dives deep in your wallet. Anyway, enough talk. Let's uh, open up the box, or I've already opened it. So uh, let me show you what I've got. So here are the new cameras for the Rasa twins. The twins are going full mono. That's right. I'm moving away from RGB imaging and uh, one one shot color imaging. I mean, not RGB, one shot color. And I'm going twin monos now. The cameras that are in here are the QHY294MM or M Pro um, cameras. And I will I'll let you know why I've decided to go the 294. And that's purely because um, obviously you can adjust them um, in, in megapixel mode. So therefore uh, you can use it like a 47 megapixel mode compared to an 11 megapixel mode, which gives you know, a, a various uh, difference in your pixel size, which then in turn um, gives you decent uh, sampling when it comes to the RASA. Um, I will we'll dive more into why I picked the 294s. Um, I have been using them for a while now and I'm really happy with them, uh, the, especially the color and the ZWO 294 um, MM Pro camera. But you also may be wondering why I've decided to go QHY instead of ZWO. Well, it comes down to costs. So after I wanted to switch the, the twins to a, uh, a mono setup, um, I knew that costs um, were going to be uh, heavily involved there. And I didn't really want to put more money into my um, setup purely because I've put enough money into it. And okay, I'm putting a little, little bit more into it. However, I have actually sold um, some of my... Uh, my gear, um, some of my older gear, as well as uh, some of my camera lenses that I don't use anymore um, to pay for, for some of this stuff here because I am uh, going through um, other transitions in my life, I guess you could say. I am uh, just bought a block of land and I'm looking at building on it, so I'm uh, in talks with a um, uh, house builder at the moment um, and we're trying to organise that. So I don't have a lot of funds that I can... Um, uh, that I can just throw out on my setup. And I'm not rich either. Even though it makes sound like I am, believe you me guys, I am not. I am minimum wage here in Australia, um, uh, you know, $20, $20 an hour. That's that's what I earn. Um, so yeah, it's I'm not, not rich at all, um, one bit. Um, yeah, I'm pretty, Pretty damn excited about all this. Uh, switching the uh, the twin rasses to twin mono cameras. The concept, the whole idea, is that I'm going to be imaging maybe like a a, a green and blue um, channel one night, and then uh, maybe a HA um, and a red channel the next night. So there is going to be a little bit of playing around just to decide on whether. Um, I create some HA GB images or some R, you know, RGB images. Um, I have tinkered around a little bit when I had the uh, the 294 mm from ZWO, and uh, and I've you know played around with some of the old data I've had and, and stuff like that. So 
I've got a little bit of an idea on how I'm going to uh, sort of uh, image moving forward um, because that's one of the big things with uh, with um, astrophotography is, is planning or trying to plan the best you can to capture the best uh, the best uh, images uh, you can for your um, all your data um, you know so you can create a, a beautiful image uh, yeah so just quickly yeah well, the reason why I also went the QHY um, cameras is because I was really happy with the, the 294 um, color uh, the quality of it, it felt really nice uh, the um, and, and it's also uh, got the uh, the uh, the dew um, uh, the heated window on the 294 um, QHY as the ZWO doesn't so uh, yeah that's that's the reasons why um, also the uh, the sensor size so it's a, it's a reasonable sensor um, you know real estate wise and compared to like the uh, the 183 or the uh, 555 um, you know uh, the uh, the to be honest with you the, the camera I did have my eyes on was the uh, 268 however uh, to be honest with you about about three just over three and a half grand Australian per camera um, whereas these here were uh, I think they were about eighteen hundred dollars per camera so when you're looking at uh, twin two six eights, you know I'm I'm looking at seven grand, seven thousand dollars worth of um, camera, and I, I don't have that money to spend at all, you know. Whereas this this was under um, uh, four thousand dollars, which was much more manageable, and I've also got all of um, my filters and and uh, all that to to go with it as well. So yeah, uh, that's the main reason why um, ZWA does have a better resale value um, here in Australia because of the ZWA ASIS system and they've um, you know they've they've made a, a pretty good stake uh, you know they've grounded their feet uh, fairly well here in uh, in South well in Australia ZWA um, with their equipment a lot of people use it um, and that's another reason why I decided not to really use it either i've always been one of these people that if a lot of people are using something i like to try and do or use a different brand and you know get just as good a result um hence why i went nikon in the very first place where a lot of people were using canon uh, back in the day for astrophotography um and look at that let me with nikon um affiliated with Nikon Australia at one you know, stage and teaching workshops for Nikon Australia and or Nikon school and and all that sort of stuff so um yeah it's it's just a one of those challenges I like to do anyway rambling on so this is what's in my uh, ZWO <laughs> box that has star shipped me is my QHY CCD uh, 294M Pro uh, cameras and I look forward to setting up the twins and I'll take you on that journey as we start to set up because I do have a couple other things uh, uh, on order um, it's just when they become available and they land here in Australia um, is when I'll receive them so not too sure when that'll be maybe another month's time or something but it'd be another addition to the uh, uh, the twins um, and uh, and I'll let you know what what it is it's the uh, the Bada, um FCC um, T2s so the uh, the um, drop in filter tilt um, devices and, and the reason for that is because I am starting to now get a little bit of tilt I noticed in um, uh, some of my images in the corners the stars aren't quite looking uh, too perfect so um, yeah that's that's the reason why a bit easy to adjust the uh, the, um, the cameras uh, uh, tilt angles um, rather than doing it with the Celestron um, uh, tilt screws so uh, yeah anyway so that's it for me so I hope you've enjoyed this video um, if you're uh, if it's the first time you've seen one of my videos please check out some of my others and uh, if you like them give me a big thumbs up leave me a comment and if you're a RASA owner yourself I'd love to know what cameras you use for your RASAs too and are you going are you full mono or are you one shot color and if you want your color then what filters do you use to try and block out your light pollution spectrum if you're shooting in, the, um, in light pollution zones? Or what other filters do you use? <clears throat> because that is one of the things that um, uh, I like about the mono imaging is that per filter, you are actually blocking out some of that light pollution zone without having to reflect 
any excess light through your system like you would with a one-shot color in a filter um, you know a one in all sort of filter uh, yeah so uh, yeah that's it for me so until next time guys take it easy see you